Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In between episodes, I traveled here to the Titan Weapon Dig Site in Tempertantia and climbed up a gigantic, like, stairway to get to this heart to heart. It's like, this is where I am on the map, if you need, need to see it. Uh, yeah, I noticed that when I came to, well, do Boris's quest, but, uh, I checked the map for other quests. And I was like, oh, I did not notice that heart to heart there. No. I believe the excavation has been put on hold ever since the incident. That's probably a good idea. Still many Ardanians here, though. Why not go home to Empire? If we were to leave the site unguarded, Torna could misuse the artifacts again. That's true. Yeah. Even if we were to rebury what has been excavated so far, there's no guarantee the same won't happen. Oh man, imagine that. You spend all this time digging stuff up and then like one... Well, I guess there was multiple, like, events happen that caused destruction. But one really bad one's like, okay, now now put it all back. Cover it up. So we're maintaining jurisdiction. What a, oh, I mean, what a waste of money that would be. And manpower. To ensure they don't fall into the wrong hands, we've bolstered the garrison and brought in a Titan battleship, too. Makes much sense. Dora want to check out Aishma. Aishma, all right. I've never seen weapons from Judicium before. Very interesting technology. My apologies, Tora. Our treaty with the Kingdom of Uriah will not allow it. We have agreed not to investigate, research, or use Aishma in any form. Are these things the Aishma? Meh, meh. But when you making such promise? At the More Ardain Uriah Summit. More Ardain take big penalty for almost starting war? I mean, it wasn't them, but yeah, I guess That's so. about right. Yes. Uh, you pay, you pay your eye big fine too. You get your eye taste. You, okay. That this is something Tora would definitely say. You give Oriya tasty sausages. That's just what Master Pon would want. Exactly. If you pay in sausages, how many years supply it take? Um. About a billion years worth. Do Jesus. You just made up a large number because <laughs> you couldn't be bothered to calculate, didn't you? <laughs> what did Morak Country pay then? They asked for the rights to survey Temperantia. Why they want that? Well, as a buffer zone. But we managed to dig up that Judician Titan weapon, didn't we? Perhaps they thought Temperantia would still have other such Okay, weapons remember it, Cronus. Temperantia. Uriah would love to get hold of some of this ordinance. Surely, it would be an awesome deterrent. Yes. And a protection for the nation. Oh, such boring geopolitics. <laughs> Tora not care about any of that. Just want to tinker with Titan weapon freely on his own. Well, you could join the Moradain army. <laughs> I'm sure you do. I'm sure they would welcome you as a researcher. We're as simple to deal with as you, Tora. Indeed. I envy you that simplicity of mine. Master Bon, they calling you simple idiot. <laughs> Tora never hear word idiot. <sighs> now Tora go steal advanced Judicium tech and use to upgrade Poppy's respect for Master Pon. Don't do that, please. <laughs> uh, I mean, you're gonna need more than that to upgrade her respect for you dog all right let's go and hopefully finish this quest uh we might do shiva's today that seems to be the closest one though they did say something about ignis's and uh We've arrived. those guys aren't too bad generally speaking um Can I stir up oh wow wind? we actually had enough i, I kind of forgot there was just this giant thing Guys, why would you fall off? I'm actually surprised there's not a heart to heart up here. So is this thing dead? Or just paralyzed because we broke its motor thing? Either way, what a horrible like... Ugh. If it's dead, that's kind of better. Because if it's just paralyzed, what a horrible existence. Like, what's feeding it? And, uh, well, is it just absorbing nutrients from where it is? No, it's just dead. Alright, you're dead. Now I feel bad. So we gotta go up. Up there. Alright. We gotta go around. We gotta avoid the monsters, because this place is like... Okay, maybe not. 
this, there are high level monsters here, yeah? Yeah, okay, no, they're up to level 51. It's not exactly high level, but it's higher than well, what's down here. There are like level 80 dinosaurs down the street, so that's something we gotta be careful of. It's rather open, you know? It's like we actually don't have to fight anyone. There is a chest over there. I'm gonna have to try and get that. Ooh! This is poisonous, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. This is absolutely poisonous. Wait for it. We want to get our health back. Then we'll go watch this guy die. No, let me go. Contrary to the name, Yum Yum is not actually all that yummy. Attack by Enuses is par for course, man. He, he's kind of a friend by now, isn't he? No, <laughs> Rex! We should probably help. But what about the mushroom? Let's save Yum Yum, then we'll talk mushroom. It might actually taste better after some light exercise. Hey, if you say so. I mean, sure, we should save him. He actually hasn't done anything really that bad. But he's not a friend. They seek a fight. They should get one. Like, by any means! You're going to be able to handle all this, Morag? Actually, these guys are going down pretty fast. This guy's dead. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's Wolfric. I'm like, what the fuck was that noise? I just want to get all this stuff, just in case. Wow. These guys aren't that hard. I mean, we are kind of high level, I guess. But they could also just be like... Just weak enemies. Yeah. Maybe we should have done this earlier. And again, I didn't have the affinity for it. Inquisitor. And there's probably more combat for this coming up. The thanks, you saved me. I'm so happy to be alive. Honestly, if you hadn't, we hadn't come around, you you would have been Igna Kibble by now. And I'm grateful that you did. Thank you again. But however, though, the game is still afoot. Do you think just because you saved Yummy Yum's life, he'll roll over and let you win? As if you're gonna keep going? I thought you had learned by now. Unquestionable. Uh, having said that. Unquestionably, he said. Having said that, there's a lot of ris uh, frisky ignises around here. That's tough. Perhaps if I could pr uh, propose a truce, we could co cooperate for the time being. For the safety and well-being for all. Because you're scared. Is that what you're getting at? No, 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 not me. Never. Whatever. Uh, you, what do you say, Skipper? It's not me who's got fur in the game. So how about we let Boris decide? Oh, ho, ho. Tor, not sure Boris listening again. Aha! What was that? The fungal smell is getting stronger. The bloom shroom must be close. You heard him. Keep up or we're leaving you behind. Yes, ma'am. Why would he come here? <laughs> like, it's not safe. <laughs> it's just not safe. Collection point. Come out, come out. Maybe agriculture is poppy. I mean, he's not a driver, he's not a fighter. He should be sneaking, and he's not even sneaking. He's just getting caught. We're Skyrimming it. That's right. Um. Well. Okay, hold up. No, I want to Skyrim it. We were close. Maybe we got a mount. We'd be able to do this easily. Are we going to have to fight all these fuckers? Or can I sneak? Shh, be very, very quiet. I'm avoiding confrontations. Lockpick? Oh, you assholes. Really? Level 99? Ah, it's no use. There's a lock on this thing. And it's quite an intricate one. I don't think we'll be able to open it. Does that mean I can't eat the bloom shroom? Leave it to Yum Yum. You think you can do it? He 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 he. Yum Yum is first rate burglar. The lock has yet to been. No lock. The lock has. Lock has not yet been built. Which would. The lock? What? Whatever, just 
Just fucking unlock it, dog. This guy's getting like... <laughs> He's going off in his own little world. Are we gonna fight these guys? Cause I have a feeling like... As soon as that thing, like as soon as this cutscene ends, I have a weird feeling we're gonna have to get fucking stomped by the enemies here. Oh, thank you. You're all mine. Bloom room. All right. Well, thank you guys. You've been lovely hosts. I will see you all later. They must have intended you to do it that way, right? I was just being like lazy. Like I didn't want to. I think I saw a heart to heart at the bottom, but I didn't want to like go all the way around. I just wanted to jump up there. Uh, I'm surprised we didn't have to fight those guys. Actually. Keep a close eye out for trouble. Let's keep moving. Hello, rum, rub, what, like rub rum or rub tum. Meh, meh. This is incredible mushroom. Where friends get it? Is dried up mushroom really that incredible? Probably not. This is bloom shroom. Oh, you're it not the chef. And it get real big. They go extinct more than a century ago. Everybody say they gone for good. Rum Tum Tum never thought he see real bloom shroom with his own eyes. It dream come true. So how big is that? Meh, meh. What is the easiest way to put this? Infinitely big. You mean an all-you-can-eat mushroom? You gotta cook it up right away. I don't think that's what it means. And we have to treat everyone. <clears throat> it's a mushroom party. <laughs> Rum Tum Tum will get cooking. Wait, is it really an infinite mushroom? How does that make any sense? Also, I don't want to eat a hundred-year-old mushroom. I don't want to die. You are... God, that is not true. That is definitely not true. He's weird. That is not true either. It feels good to sit and eat surrounded by not on friends. Naturally, Yum Yum will graciously return all stolen goods. So next time, we can decide clearly who the greatest burglar is. And that we will noise. finally see who is number one in Nop on Hearts and Minds. It's Poppy. Hey, you? You listening? No, he's not. Don't you ever stop talking? It's time to eat, not time to talk. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Well, that was fun. Boris is a weird character. Ah, that mushroom we all ate was the literal best. It must have been, since you ate three people's worth. I hope that was enough for you. Hmm, I sure could, I'm sure I could eat more. After all, there's still plenty of things in the world that I haven't tried yet. I want to find and eat them all. Also, and also, no the Nopon seem to look up to me, so I want to stay the speed-eating champion. I'll, ri I'll, rise, I'll rise to any occasion, tours, yum-yums, or whatever you put me before me, dear driver. Oh, ho, ho those speed-eating contests sure are a cheap way to fill my stomach, or to fill a tummy. I mean, I guess you're not wrong. I've never been to a, well, like, an eating contest. I've been to places that hold them, i just never been there for an eating contest. So you're good now, Boris? Aside from your trust? You are, alright. Really really Let's go through- oh man, I never actually day, did that. That's very dumb of me. Of but I get to do this, this? Board game. Girl, you like board games? For victory. I gotta really remember to come in here and do these. Or at least like, not do them, heart. but like go through them when I unlock something. Um, so I should probably try some board games on Fairy. 
That's you don't go there for that, right? Board games. We got pie. We got music. Board games. I don't know what games look like. Is it the pianos? Are piano board games? No. Maybe? No, these, these, these. This is not the worst. Well, thanks, Theory. You could say thank you. This is not the worst. Did she want three or, or two or four? She's gonna get this four. I'm gonna leave that on her for that. Dope. If anyone tries to harm you, they're dead. Well, that's great. What's this? <laughs> Why can't I do that though? Do you have a quest? You don't have a quest. And I gotta speak to Nopon, god damn it. Why don't you have a thing though? There must be a quest or something then. <clears throat> this Oh shit, let's get Praxis on her board. She might have another quest. Those two are very related, so like Or connected, not really related. I, I mean they might be this. related, but they're they're definitely connected. Do you have any other quests? Yeah, what was that? Uh go to the Royal Guard back uh barracks and complete the quest Blade Sharp Memory. Oh wait, no, I already did that. We gotta do this one first. You get any other ones? I guess not. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. All right. Well, sure. I'm sure something will come up for that. Probably. Maybe. Want to go see that heart to heart down here? Sure. Ow. Hey, uh, can I buy you yet? The answer's the no. What's this? Hmm. From what a certain innkeeper tells us, there are to be discount deals at the Argentum Bazaar today. We should expect anything from half price up to 90% off. Dope. One does not simply pass up such an opportunity. You're not wrong. Bargain days can be pretty exciting. Fingers crossed we'll find something good. We wish to be adorned. To the accessory shop. Fine purveyor of goods. Have you <laughs> any fashion accessories in vogue? Oh, uh, I'm glad I don't know anyone that talks like this but in real life. But of course. But of course. I recommend necklace made from scarlet mushrooms. Only 5,000 G. Why? Normally it is 10,000. But today I give discount. Special bargain day. Hmm, this is almost too cheap, if anything. And while it may be befitting of a knock-on, we do not like how it may be eaten at a moment's notice. What we desire Wait, is Wait, you a have a tail? Noble accessory. What the f- I did not know you had a tail. You have a mermaid tail, kind of. Hmm, this establishment is full of curiosities. Madam, have I for quality? My mind is still blown, blown about the fishtail. These unique accessories, crafted from findings of salvages. Aha. Uh -huh. You mean to say these are all handmade? Pray, what might be the most valuable item in your shop? Ned, Ned, why that this? This exquisite item made from ore of highest grade. Salvaged in Gormach, to be told. Well, this is a fetching item. Uh, it would look suitable on you, Pyra. It would suit you to a T, Bridget. Ah, uh, let's see. She's water elemental. <sighs> and they're both fire. I was like to say, who's she weak against? They're both fire. Um. Alright, I... Well, okay. So, Bridget is more eggs, clearly, and Pyra is definitely Rex's. So, uh... Pyra? I guess. I don't know. Bridget? I don't really know. It doesn't really matter. It would look so 
blame on you, Pyra. What? Me? Oh no, I'm sure you could find someone better. Nonsense! You're perfectly deserving of such an item. Where this necklace you know that makes sense? Salvage, Pyra, Rex? Brighter than all the stars in the sky. Lined in the stars. Yeah, something like that. Really? But... Heed our words, Pyra. Be our number one and you shall have it. Ooh. Our gift to you. What say you? Huh? You're number one. Yeah, in the harem. Me? That's right. You do want this necklace, don't you? No, thanks. <laughs> I'll pass. Inconceivable. Uh, yeah, I don't think you know the meaning of that to word. think we of all people would be turned down? Yet, we shall not let this topple us. Yeah, we're not broken yet. For the sake of our future, number one, we shall purchase the necklace ourselves. Tell us, fine vendor, what is the going rate for this particular item? Nah, nah. You want to buy necklace? Madam, do me great service. This Nopon's voice actress is actually super irritating to me. That come to 430,000? I don't have that, actually. 430,000? Hmm. Was today not a bargain day? We should expect you will be selling it with a 90% discount today, no? 43,000 G? That'd like to slap in face. In first place, it's precious item. It not fall into bargain price bracket. <laughs> Preposterous. This is the trouble with cheapskates. Forget it. We're leaving. Zeke's just like, why am I here? What a royal letdown. Uh, Shiva, as much as I hate to ask, what is it you're really after? Well asked. <laughs> Our dream is to hold banquets and tea parties with the most charming of ladies. That is why we need our entourage. You can't hold a good banquet without the right number of participants. You don't need to move your lips for this, Zeke. You're not actually saying anything. And we will not rest. Not until our goal is in sight. Fear not, Pyra, Bridget, Nia, Morak, Poppy, Pandoria. You are all invited. You shall be a part of our inner circle. Kinky? Uh, uh, I think Poppy does have hydraulics. But we realize now that it is not so easy to have others acquiesce to our request. <laughs> the road may be long, but still we forge ever onwards. That's a proper reaction, I guess, Zeke. Seeing how you're not invited. Uh, lock picking two, electric boogaloo. All right, dope. I don't think there's anything else here. Well, okay, there is. Uh, there is Shiva's quest here. Affluence are but a step away. We could start that today, I guess. You're trust related for that girl talk. Yeah, I don't talk to many girls. Oh yeah, these ones. That's probably good to have. Should probably go do that. Hopefully those aren't too hard. We've definitely done that seven times. I know we can't unlock it until we unlock the one before that, but... Whoa, wait a minute. Has he not called you out while we've been fighting? Because we've definitely done that more than six times. That's kind of weird. Um, okay, yeah. Should we do Shiva, uh, Shiva's quest? I guess so. We could start uh, Dragus's quest. What do I have? What's the, the story quest? Um, let's see. Where is Shiva's? Fools, that is such a good picture. Not as good as Wolfrix, but it's a good picture. Where? Oh, wait. More Dane? I did not know that for some reason. Oh, no, yeah, that's right. She did say uh, the name of this place. We actually have to start... Let us go. You have to do, like, uh, Dagus's here as well, right? I think it's supposed to start over there. I don't know if I'm actually, like, ready to do that one. 
I think I am. I checked out his affinity chart, and it, it was like, yo, you need to do this to unlock the next affinity. That might be something completely different. Um, we gotta go, wait, over there? Uh, the boutique of the Black Feathered Fool should be in the this general... Oh. Seems like there's a problem. I wonder what's up. Indeed, we shall inquire as to the nature of their predicament. What is the matter? We cannot help but note that you seem... perturbed. Sure. Uh, may we assist you? Oh, thank you. Well, we were hoping to claim, uh, claim back some money from a no pawn. You two have fallen afoul to, to, of the Feathered Felon. Speak! All right. There's a Nopon merchant around here called Say Say. Uh, we, he said he knew a quick, easy way to turn a thousand G into ten thousand. He asked me if I was on board. I said it wouldn't take. Mo it said it wouldn't take more than a few days. I gave him the money. Some days passed, and I still hadn't heard back. That didn't seem right, so I went to the shop to see where what was up. But there's was there no one inside. When I asked around, I discovered that Say Say had closed down his shop and packed up a few days ago. So now I'm at a loss. I won't be able to afford food for my daughter at this rate. I, why would you give him money like that then? Like, if that was your only money, like, it's too good to be true. If something's too good to be true, you don't sacrifice that much. Anyways, I just don't know what we should do now. You want to take up salvaging? It's very easy to make money that way. Looks like they fell for a scam. They took the money and ran. That good for nothing. Not content with coming, uh, with coming, conning us. Now he's willing to trick an innocent mother and child just the line in his pockets. What the law permits, such a the law, uh, such a vile deed as this shall not go unpunished. Rex, we look at ten thousand G to this poor woman at once, huh? Why me? Why do you look so surprised? Ultimately, ultimately we will wrest back our millions from the, that narrow duel, and uh, a partly sum such as this will hardly break the bank. No. Sure, but isn't ten thousand a bit much? A thousand would be good enough, wouldn't it? Imbecile, we took you we took you to be a man of a large heart. Show some compassion. Hey, come on. I'll I'll do it. I, I can easily make money, I don't really care. I'll give you a hundred thousand. That's fine. Hand it over. This much? Are you sure about this? Take it. It is our policy never to overlook a lady in trouble. I you realize I'm the one paying up here. Cease your whining, Rex! It's not becoming of a gentleman! That should suffice for the time being, should it not? You may use it as you see fit. I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. Don't get creepy, Shiba. Yes, we have decided. Dare I ask, what have you decided? We observe that the child will be one, 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 oh, fuck. Shiba. No. Girl, no. <laughs> Just no. You don't say this shit. <laughs> we observe that the child will one day mature into a beautiful butterfly. She shall be given a free pass into our entourage. In which case, we must turn back this instant and... Please wait! Maybe before all that, it's important to search for Nopon that trick Shiva? Oh, you are quite right. right. You were so sage advice, dear Poppy. We would expect nothing less of you. Still, it seems we are all but groping in the dark now. We shall have to locate the error with the pun conjugate and pass them, uh, press them for information. Yes, to the Argentum Guild we go. There is an abundance of Dopon merchants there. Surely we will find the, the lead we seek. If all goes well, we may even be able to meet the black feathered villain. Your monarch has spoken. We take the Argentum immediately. I'm not sure it'll be that easy. Goldmo's a big place, you know. Fair not. They are but Cretans. You, we will surely have disembarked at Goldmouth Return Port. We will find him sulking around there. And now we depart. Follow our lead. All right, we'll do that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the episode, press the link below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you end my videos, so you can check out some of the content and see if it's true. Like, and once again, thank you for watching. We all have a great day.